this sounds terrible. The things that really slows me down is thinking. There's one thing you need to understand about deadlines. There is a distinct difference between working efficiently and taking oh, shortcuts. I am an idiot. The latter Jeez. is very much ill-advised. It's gonna be alright. Pro tip number one, do not take shortcuts. I have two pages I need to try to finish penciling and inking, which is quite a lot to do. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. So today's gonna be all about work efficiency. So, <laughs> I don't know what the heck that was, but I'm glad that I parked here. Sometimes I park beachside, so that way I have a nice kind of calming morning. I think the first thing I need to do before I start, it's cleaning this place up. A messy workplace, it's not quite conducive to a clear mind. Okay, so there we go. That was just a super quick tidy. Nothing, it wasn't deep cleaning. It took like, I don't know, five minutes or something like that. Just so that way I'm not tripping over my own junk, really. Uh, all right, I'm gonna start the work day. Clean up your workspace, set yourself up for success for the day. That, that sounds super motivational and lame, but. something that I often forget when I'm kind of going super fast and super speed when I'm working. Never take shortcuts. I've really done myself a disservice by making only really rough thumbnails that I don't even, I can't even read at this point. I really took a shortcut that is now biting me in the butt. At the beginning of the issue, I had a lot of energy and I really, really wanted to skip that step because I was, I was feeling confident that I could execute this in a super snappy, quick way. This sounds terrible. The things that really slows me down is thinking. So if I do all of the thinking at the beginning of the issue, making those layouts a lot tighter at the beginning, as you've seen in my older videos, because I really show how I utilize my layouts and thumbnails as a way to plan out the colors, but that also helps me plan out the sequence. Once I get to the penciling and the inking and the coloring, I'm really just executing. And that's when I can really go fast because at that point, I'm just going by instinct. It sounds terrible to say that I don't wanna start the day off thinking. You know what it is? I want to start the day off acting rather than thinking. Also, since we're talking about efficiency, I'm not doing myself any service by hiding it behind all that junk. I have all of these little reminders around the studio. I, I sometimes feel like the character from Memento because I'm always forgetting stuff. Throughout the studio, I kind of have left messages for myself. So I have this thing that says ne never take shortcut. I have this one here that says pursuit of perfection is a dog ch chasing its own tail because that's true. Never going to get it. And then, you know, just little things like stories are an equipment for living. A lot of this is actually from, uh, this one's from Kenneth Burke, but quite a lot of these things that I have in the studio is from Robert McKee from his book Story, which is an amazing book. Not only does it teach you how to tell stories, it, there's so much of it is actually about how you live life. And this one right here. Anyways, I highly recommend that book. Uh, it helped me out so much, not just in writing, but also in life. So speaking of taking shortcuts, so I would sometimes be too lazy to set up any of these lights because they're big and they're cumbersome. So often I would use a lamp light that was clamped over here. If you're wondering where it is, it's right there. I was just quickly trying to grab it and place the light. And anyways, I've, I've messed up. Ah, okay. Uh, I don't know why I did that. Unplug it first. 
One final word on shortcuts. Shortcuts tend to lead to mistakes. I, I become much more accident prone and mistake prone. So this was the hinge that I was using to clip it to the shelf. So what ends up happening is that these mistakes end up taking longer to fix. So if you front load everything, it, it will be so much easier. Um, yeah, don't take shortcuts. Oh my god, Francis. If for some reason I collapse here on the ground with bubbles in my mouth and you don't hear from me, it's because, uh, because of that. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just call you every half hour to find you. Make sure you're okay. I'm sure I'm fine. People, okay. people get shocked all the time on this stuff, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm just being dramatic. Well, life has nearly killed me, and my mind is putting me on the edge. Life has nearly killed me, and my mind is putting me on the edge. Though I can barely crawl, I've got to walk where these angels feel the tree. Darkness nearly drowned me Sunlight alone Don't it burn my eyes Darkness nearly drowned me And the sunlight alone Don't it burn my eyes This valley is much too deep Okay, so second page of pencils for the day are done. Let's mark the scoreboard here. So we now have up to nine penciled. I'm gonna to try to ink these two pages today. I'm not, not so sure if I can do that, but we'll give it a go. So if I've learned anything at all from today's events, it's don't, don't Google symptoms of being shocked. You, you get some heart stuff. I'm just having a bit of a freak out. Next tip. Um, memory loss is one of the symptoms uh you know I'm, stop stop it i'm gonna stop then the, the next tip is that's it's hot keys so the great thing about it is that it doesn't matter what software you're using adobe photoshop or premiere or clip studio paint it doesn't really matter all of those programs have hotkeys and usually you can find it in one of the tab it'll show you all the hotkeys available for that particular program <laughs> hello hi hi i'm fine <laughs> i'm still alive okay <laughs> okay i love you bye <laughs> so hotkeys take a little bit of time to memorize and it's a little bit annoying at first, but it's one of those things that it's worth it. You got to keep using it. And the more you use them, the more it becomes muscle memory. Right now, my, my left hand, I know exactly where things need to go. There's a reason why they're there. They will speed up your process.
Okay, so there's actually one more thing I wanted to show you guys, which is actions. These are automated actions in Photoshop that you can customize repetitive actions like resizing an image or flattening it and converting it into a TIFF file or converting it into a CMYK. Personally, I've created two types of actions which I use basically on a daily basis. The first one is converting my PSD file into a CMYK TIFF file. These are print ready versions of my artwork. And lastly, I also do a resize flatten action which creates JPEGs of my files. After I finish a page, I need to create a smaller JPEG version of these pages so that way I can email it to Scott and my editor and that way everybody can see it. Quick update, um, I did not finish penciling and inking two pages in one day, but I did finish penciling two pages and I did finish inking one page and I might get a head start and work a little bit tonight on the second page. I really, really need to amp up my speed if I'm gonna make this deadline. Um, that's it, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>